Hi, I'm Jervis Lewis and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your lucky lottery numbers with your Commodore 64. That's right. The little guy is really good at generating random numbers and I've shown you in how to create random YouTube URLs how to use the randomizer. Just a quick refresh, here's how we use that. So I'm using the Vice emulator here because it just looks so much better on the screen. And what we can do is use the R&D function to create a random number. So this is how it works. I need to print that, of course. Oops. There we go, I need to print that. And uh, actually, let me hit Control-2 so that we get things in white, so that looks a little bit better. Um, and I'm also uh, pressing the Shift and Commodore keys, Commodore keys together, so that we get the lowercase letters. I just think it just, um, it's, it's, it's a better reading experience there for me. So if we print IND of, say, 1 or 0 or any value, really, then we get something like this. And if we go and print that again, we get something else. And no matter how many times we print that, we don't really, or we shouldn't really get the same number as in the floating point number. This is not quite a number that we're looking for, especially not for lottery numbers. So um, what we need to do there is we need to multiply that with something else. So if we wanted to say have six out of 49, then we multiply this by 49, and then we'd get a random number between well, 0 and 48, but it's never going to be 0 and it's never going to be exactly 48 either. So for that to happen, we're going to add an integer function to that. So we'll go print int ind of 1 times 49. And if we do that, we get an integer number. But uh, the thing is, we may end up with the number zero here because the integer function doesn't work the way you'd expect it. So if I just uh, print an integer number of uh, say 2.2.1, then we would expect that to be two coming out of an integer function. But so hence round it down. But if I were to say print the integer of 2.9, I would expect there to be a three now coming out. But that's not how it works in Commodore Basic because it's all a little bit different, isn't it? So it's always rounding it down or uh, to be really accurate, it, the integer function is actually more like a modulus function. So it gives you the modulus of a number, which is the first part of a floating point number. And the last part is the mantis or the mantissa rather. But anyway, in order to build our lucky lottery generator, we need to add a one to this thing here because otherwise we may end up with a zero. So plus one will actually get us values between one and 49. So knowing that we would just um, start writing a little program in line 10, we would seed our random number generator with the minus ti just to throw away value so that it's initialized differently every time we run the program. And in line 20, because we only need six numbers, we don't need to worry about uh, dimensioning the array. We're just going to go for it and say for i equals one to six, because we need to have that, that six times or however many numbers you want to draw out of a pool. In line 30, we're going to create a random number just with the formula that we had there at the top. So integer number of rd say 1 times 49 so this is the, the uh, regular german saturday lottery being drawn every saturday since i don't know 1954 or whatever and uh, that's 6 out of 49 that's the kind of lottery i'm simulating here so that's that and in line 40 we're just going to populate an array so let's say our array is called n and n has six slots so n i will be r n and in line 50 we'll go for next in line 100 i'm just going to start printing things out so i'm going to start with a print statement so that we have just a bit of space there and then i'm going to go for another loop also i equals one to six i is just a throwaway kind of counter thing and we're going to print n I with the semicolon at the end so that everything gets printed on the same line. In line 130 we go next and in line 199 we are going to end the program. 
actually in line 140 I'm also going to print it so that it's nice and spaced out so let's see what happens here looks like it's working just fine so we've got six numbers they're not sorted we're going to talk about that in another video but uh, if I run this again random numbers every time so far so good but if you look at the logic and perhaps if we draw 49 numbers it's not quite that obvious but here it's this this has just happened the number 43 came up twice and that of course can't really happen in a lottery it can happen with you with it with a dice roll if you have a dice and you roll the same dice six times then it is likely that you get the same number more than once but in the lottery that's not how it works because you've got a pool of numbers and if you withdraw the number 43 from the pool then the 43 can't come up again and it looks like uh, we've just we've just had that happen <laughs> it's one of those things because our program has a little bit of a flawed logic to it because it literally just generates six exactly random numbers and hence it is very possible that the one number comes up more than once in order to remedy that we need a second loop in there and we need to rewrite our program so basically what we need to do is if a random number is thrown then we need to compare that to every number that's been thrown previously and we're going to check is it the same number and if that's the case then discard that random number and throw another random number out so that no numbers are repeated and the way we do that is well with another loop let's see here line 10 20 and 30 we can leave and in line 40 things are going to change so in line 30 we're going to generate that random number in line 20 we have our first loop in line 40 we're going to start another loop and we'll use j for j equals 1 to i so however many times we've been through the first loop we're going to go through our second loop that many times in line 50 we're going to basically ask is the random number that's just come up in line 30 is that the same as in our array so if nj equals rn then head back over and give us another random number so go to 30. in line 60 we're gonna end that loop in line 70 we're gonna give the random number to our array so ni equals rn and in line 80 we're going to start looping through our first loop again does that make sense let's see if it works first looks like nothing's changed but at the same time it also looks like none of the numbers have come up twice It is probably easier if we have a look through it and just to make absolutely sure we don't draw six numbers out of 49 let's just draw six numbers out of six so in that case the loop may take a little bit longer now to execute but we're doing that so that we can see we we only really have six different numbers so none of these have come up again if you make the pool smaller then the likelihood of the same number coming out is higher so in this case all we're getting is a variation of the numbers one two three four five six but we're never getting them twice none of these numbers repeat which is great so to amend that to your local lottery make sure you put the amount of numbers the the, the size of your pool needs to go here you can even ask that with with an input and ask how large the pool is and how many numbers you want to draw out of that pool you can amend this listing so that it becomes a second pool so that you have i don't know five numbers out of the numbers one to 50 and then another one number out of a pool of 10 or something i'll leave that up to you because there's so many variations of lotteries here so the the first number here denotes the size of your pool and this number here uh, for the first loop that denotes how many how many numbers out of that pool you want to draw out and the rest of the listing you can just leave the same 
there we go that was it i hope this was helpful i hope you find that entertaining and you can make your own little lottery listings with the commodore if you would like to see how to sort these numbers as they come out then watch my next video in which we're going to do exactly that sorting an array on the commodore 64. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please share it with friends, family and total strangers. Give me a thumbs up. Head over to my Patreon campaign if you want to give me something a little bit like throw a bit of cash my way. Put it into the hat because I'm that street performer, you know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.